everybody it's me Jenny and I'm back so today 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 is Wednesday um so I just wanted to come on and share some more cards that I received um and let you know kind of what's going on and to answer a lot of questions actually that I've been getting so today is Wednesday the 2nd of December and today we've said our absolute final goodbye to my mom. So the last time you heard from me, we actually, my mom had passed on a Wednesday and that Saturday we went to the funeral parlor to basically say our final goodbye to my mother's body. Basically, um, she was being cremated. Um, but I have to tell you with COVID and with the holiday, um, okay. So my mom wanted to be cremated. We did this with my father. He was cremated. We had a repass mass, mass, sorry. And then we went to the cemetery and my dad was, um, in, he was in the military. So he is at a military, um, cemetery. Oh my goodness. So when my mom passed away, um, it was always the plan to put her in the niche with my father. And then the plaque would just, you know, her name would be added to the plaque. So my mom had passed on the 11th that Saturday was, which was a Wednesday that Saturday we went to the funeral parlor, um, just my immediate family to say goodbye to her. Um, and then we had to wait for her to be cremated and come back to the funeral parlor. And then we had a set up so that we could do the mass in the cemetery the same day, one right after the other, because the cemetery is a probably a good hour from where we are. So anyway, because of COVID, because it took so long for my mom to be cremated and come back. And then with the holiday Thanksgiving, um, the first available date we could get was today. So that's what we did. So there's no more, um, masses or cemeteries or funeral parlors or anything like that. Um, this was the final goodbye. And I have to tell you that the mass was absolutely beautiful. It was probably the saddest thing I've ever been to in my life but it was stunningly breathtaking, gorgeous, beautiful. My mother would have been so happy and that is all I could ask for. So, and then the woman who was singing, um, in the church had a voice of an angel, um, nearly killed me, but <laughs> it was, it was just heavenly and beautiful. I don't know how to, else to explain it. And then of course, um, after that, we went to the cemetery. So we were able to see my, you know, say hi and pay respects to my dad as well. So now when we go, it'll be for both my parents and not just my dad. So that's where we are with that. I am really praying that after this week, my life will start to get on track a little bit. Um, so I also wanted to answer some questions because a lot of people were asking, you know, why did it take so long? And, um, you know, not in a rude way, but please don't, don't misunderstand that. Not in a rude way whatsoever. Uh, but you know, just people didn't understand like, well, what do you mean? You said you already said goodbye and, you know, just out of concern. And obviously I think a lot of people felt like my family did, like it was, you know, bittersweet. Like there was always something, you know what I'm saying? Like one week it was obviously the death of my mom and then it was saying goodbye. And then it was saying goodbye, getting through the holiday without her. And then after the holiday, now we're saying goodbye again. Like, you know, and I get it. It's a lot. People don't understand and that's okay. And I'd rather you ask than just assume. So I welcome questions. Um, I don't feel like anybody is, has been disrespectful or asking questions they shouldn't. Again, you guys know me, I'm an open book, meaning if you ask me something, I'll tell you. And if I don't feel like sharing it, then I'll tell you it's none of your business. <laughs> but I, for the most part, I would never do that. Anyway, so that's where we are. I am hoping that I could start getting back on track. Like I said, after this week, um, you know, it's been a lot. 
things will never be the same. Um, I'm going to have a gaping hole in my heart probably for the rest of my life, but that's just because I had such an amazing mom and I am so grateful and thankful that I got to share her a lot with you guys. Um, and for that, I am eternally grateful to all of you and to her for allowing me to do that. So, all right. So I've gotten some beautiful cards and I just wanted to share them real quick and just, you know, say thank you and let you guys see, um, you know, you guys have been a huge, huge support for me. And I know that whenever I'm feeling lonely or sad or, you know, just not sure of things, I know that you are all out there for me and you have no idea how grateful and thankful I am for that. So, um, this is from my girl, Susan. She has been just such an amazing friend. Like, I, so she sent me this card. Um, I'm not going to read the whole card. I'll just read you the notes inside if that's okay. So it just says, sweet Jenny, I am so sorry for your loss of your precious mother. My heart breaks for you and wish I could comfort you. I am holding you in my prayers. May you find some peace. Love you, Susan Klein. Prayers for your family too. <laughs> I thought that was sweet. <laughs> so, and I just want you guys to know that um, today we had the mass, the funeral, and we invited everybody back to the house. Not everybody came because of the whole COVID thing, which is fine. But people who have been in and out of my house have seen all of the cards and I've shared them with my entire family. So all of my brothers and sisters and their, uh, my, you know, my, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, they, they all have seen and read the cards and they are so touched by all of your kindness. So thank you so much for this. And then this one, be look at, well, here, you know what? Let me see if I could do it this way. Um, Okay. So this is from my girl, Lonnie, and this is actually, they're all little, um, die cuts. So there's hearts and butterflies and she did it all over the envelope. I thought that was so pretty. And then it matches the card. I uh, just so sweet when words are, oh, well, I'm not going to read the whole thing. And this is, um, it just says, hi, Jenny. I just wanted to send you some love and let you know, I'm thinking about you. I'm so sorry for your loss. I hope when these few words hit your beautiful eyes. You are feeling a bit better. Nothing can take away your pain, but I hope I put, I hope to put a smile on your face, sending lots of love and hugs. Love you, Lonnie, AKA. I do not know how to pronounce her name. I am not even going to try, but it's N I O L A N I Brown. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she made this beautiful card for me. Um, and thank you to, to everybody who has been sending cards and reaching out. Okay. And again, I mean, they're just, they're so pretty. So this is from Bethy. It says, Jenny, I'm thinking about you and praying for you. I wish I could take your pain away, my friend. God loves you. And so do I. XOXO heart Bethy. I thought that was so sweet. She's the one that um, sent me the, the last happy mail that I received. So that was fun. Um, oh, I put, I'm sorry. I wrote all over this. I was getting phone calls, <laughs> but look at how gorgeous with love and sympathy. How incredibly sweet is this card? And I have to say, I don't know if you guys are going to see it because for whatever reason, it just never picks it up, but there is so much, um, Oh, what do you call this stuff? Um, a oh, wink Stella on the, this card. I love it. It's on all of the leaves and the, just the entire card. So anyway, <laughs> open up dear Jenny. I am so sorry, sweetheart. Just wanted you to know you and your family are in my prayers and my heart. Uh, did, Oh, from Denise. I'm sorry. Oh, Denise Becker. This is from Denise Becker. She's so sweet. I, I, I just, I am so thankful and grateful for people who have made handmade cards and even people who have just sent a card. I, just the fact that you guys took time out of your busy lives and your schedules to send me something, I will always, always be grateful and thankful. This one says sympathy. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Again, that sparkle and shine is just incredible. And then you, oh, this is a 
Um, I, I guess, I guess I can share it. Oh my God. I hope this is okay. Jenny, I was so sorry to hear of your loss. I didn't know until someone mentioned it in a video recently. I won't pretend I know what you're going through. My dad passed a, a week before my birthday this year, but it, it was different. We don't, we don't know each other well. We don't know each other well, but I wanted you to know I'm here for you if you ever need me to talk or just to be on the phone or online. Please let me know if there's anything I can do. Jenny, I'm sending all my love to you. Life is rarely fair, but we do the best we can to make it through each day. Take care of yourself. And this is Chelsea from Sugar Ray Crafts. I thought this was so sweet and so kind and so honest and true. Like, life isn't fair. Hardly ever. <laughs> um, and, and Chelsea, I am so sorry for the loss of your, your father, especially a week before your birthday. My mom died two days after my birthday. So, I, not that I know, but it, I kind of know. And, um... It sucks. Like it does. It just, I don't know if my birthday will ever be the same. So I understand that. And my heart aches for you just for the loss of your dad. I, I remember when I lost my dad, it, it's been nine years now and, um, it's hard. And to sit here and tell you that it isn't, I would be lying. So if you need anything, or if you just need that, you know, voice on the other end of the phone or online, please reach out to me. Um, and we can go through it together. <laughs> so I'm proud of myself that I held it together. But I think I'm just absolutely so numb from today that, um, yeah. <laughs> but I, I didn't cry. So yay. <laughs> I, I saved all of you from that. But anyway. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Um, I received two boxes in the mail today actually when I got home. So I will be doing a video soon for my girl Donna. I can't believe she did this. She literally sent me two boxes of Happy Mail. So I have no idea what she sent, but I can't wait to open it. So I will be back on with a fun, exciting video very, very soon. Um, I love you guys all so very much and I can't thank you all. I mean the, the, comments on videos and the comments on my Facebook. OMG, you guys have been, and the cards and the, the messages and the emails and the texts, text messages and the phones and the messenger. And I mean, you name me, I, I just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Honest to God, just thank you. My family thanks you because they're they're starting to leave me alone a little bit now, meaning like, you know, they don't think that they have to stay overnight and, um, because they know that I have so much support and I, you guys just don't know what it means to all of us, honestly. And I know that my mother has the biggest smile smiling down. She was so worried about me. That's all she could say to anybody is I'm just worried about Jenny. I don't know how she's going to be. I don't know how she'll get through it. You know, like here she is in pain and going through a living hell, literally a living hell. And she was worried about me, you know? So I, I just thank you guys all so very much for, um, giving my mom that peace, knowing that I am okay. Cause I have such an amazing support system. So I love you guys. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for all of you. Um, and I will be back soon with a fun, exciting video. Okay. Bye guys. Love you all. Mwah. Thanks again.